dieting, eating a balanced diet. On closer look, the world is able to supply all that the body needs to keep it strong, healthy, and living well. Dieting is not always abstaining from food rather, it is eating a balanced diet. It is the preference of one food group over the other that create the imbalance. Sodium, for example, is essential to the functioning of the body. Without it, various illnesses arise. More than that, sodium makes us sweat out the toxins that the body has accumulated whether naturally or not. Sodium is also an agent that helps keep the body temperature at operating limits. Fat is too. Fat for all its portrayed grossness keeps the skin looking well and toned. It is the body's best insulator against cold and is a source of the lubricant for the different parts of the body. One of its best purposes though is that it is the body's storehouse of energy if you will. It will keep the body going and surviving long after all the other nutrients are gone. Fat and sodium might be the top food to avoid according to most dieting programs but ask those who are not selling health concoctions. The answer might be slightly different. But take all things in moderation. In like manner, fiber is bad for the body if all that the body gets is fiber. The issue then is not so much with what is introduced to the body but the manner and proportions by which it is introduced. Take for example sugar. Processed sugar is good as a quick source of energy. Fruit sugar is better. The sugar in the fruit is burned by the body in slower quantities and therefore lasts longer unlike its processed counterpart. Fruit sugar does not give the feeling of a quick energy surge like that which we feel with processed sugar. Coffee likewise is a good source of antioxidants aside from its various benefits. Antioxidants keep us healthy, vibrant, and arrest the aging process. Of course too much coffee is too much coffee. Just like anything that is ingested in copious amounts, the benefits are negated and often illnesses if not discomfort occurs. The best way to diet then is to have a balanced diet. Everything that we eat must be limited to or as close as possible to prescribed amounts. There is this food chart that is commercially available that will help anyone determine the correct ratio that the body requires. Elementary really but very informative, it tells us of things that we should already know but do not. In an effort to get the best diet, we sometimes go to lengths to buy the expensive foods. Fine sentiment but really unnecessary. All food has its purpose, all food has its own nutrient that will serve the body well. Everything that is edible under heaven is to provide life. The difference sometimes is in the advertising, who endorses it and how successful is the hype. Otherwise the difference is not much, only the price. No one could go wrong with water. Water, even when taken copiously, will always be good. You can never get enough of it. That which the body does not need is either perspired or flushed out. The best way to a balanced diet then is to eat that which is available and to have variety but only in prescribed amounts. If obesity is the issue, think of that which you eat most and limit its intake or do not take it for a while until your weight normalizes. But drink water, lots of it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.